Welcome guys to round number 5 of the EGCTB Elite Classic. This time, Marine Lord playing the Byzantines in the color pink against Papi Paw playing the Holy Roman Empire. We're gonna have some action here. We're gonna see some early barracks. Uh, very interesting choice. Probably will try to deny the gold of Marine Lord. Let's see. Let's see how that goes. And you know, this is really interesting. Just because the, the, the Holy Roman Empire just got an up... Like, yeah. they got an upgrade a few days ago. Like, it's perfectly timing for, for this tournament. And what, what happened to the, those barracks? Uh, anyway, it's perfect timing. Because they get marching drills for free. Which means these units are fast. Look at that. This, these guys, these boys are fast, fast. And uh, meaning when when you're about to deny resources here, like a few seconds, that's all you need to make a difference. Like if you go if you go there late, like 10 seconds later, then probably like you know it's not gonna be the same. And looks like Papi Po, uh, sorry, Marine Lord already scouted his opponent. He knows the barracks is coming. And let's see what what, what will be his response. It's like, get, get, get out of here, Wolf. Get out of here. It looks like Marine Lord just have enough gold to ASAP. He don't, he don't really need to fight this. So he's gonna go back. And let's take a look at the ship. There's uh, plenty of ship here for Marine Lord. 10 already. Let's take a look at Poppy Paws. It uh, looks like we, we got another suicide squad. It's gonna be it's gonna be a tower rush, actually. It's gonna be it's gonna be a tower rush. Right? Small. But he, he doesn't have the He doesn't have the wood yet for, for the tower, so I I'm not exactly sure what he's gonna do here. Like there's some sheep here killed by Poppy Paw. And now Marine Lord goes with the Imperial Hypodrome. Gonna get those horsemen. Activate that shrimp ability. Not gonna be going for the grand winery. Just to you know get those berries, get get those olive oil, those mercenaries out. What is exactly how people gonna do? Oh, he's gonna tower rush the berries. Interesting choice. Unlikely for him that the berries were at the back of his base. So that was a lot of idle time coming coming from Papi Pal. And that's time that he also delayed when it comes to the ASAP. And uh, how, wait, how much sheep does Papi Pal has? Only five sheep left. Let's take a look at Marine Lord. Thirteen sheep left. So, Holy Roman Empire is a civilization that r requires a lot of timing. Like, if you're gonna go fast castle, you gotta go fast. And if you wanna do that, you need to have food resources safe in your base. Because if you go to the berries and you and the military of your opponent is there, you need military of your own to defend. If you create military of your own, then your castle age timing is delayed. So the more food resources you have under your town center, the more chances you have to go castle. Now, I don't know if that's Papi Boss' plan, but by the looks of it, like when you have seven villagers here, it looks like he's gonna catch up with all those, at least those upgrades, gonna get wheelbarrow, gonna get, you know, horticulture, maybe. Or maybe just gonna save it for for going castle and that those those villagers cannot eat more sheep. There you go. I can chapel here. Looks like he was just rushing, you know, the goal to, to go to the next Asia. Now this is a really slow Asia. Like compared, the Holy Roman Empire has a very quick Asia timing. Very quick. Uh, I think it's one of the quickest in the game. Uh, just because they have access to the prelates. 
early on. They can boost the economy without doing anything. Already have some stone. It's gonna be a long distance wonder here. That outpost not gonna get fortified for now. Just needs to click on it, basically. But he he also wants to put the arrow sleeves first. Well, I can chapel. Almost there for Papi Pao. Well, let's take a look at his opponent because his opponent might be cooking something. Already five archers. And this is really bad for you. Like, horsemen are already here. Your spearmen are, are here, that, that's for sure. But there's also archers coming from your opponent. Oh, these are really slow HAP coming from Papi Pao. Looks like these villagers are gonna do another long distance wander here. Nah, take down those spearmen here. Arrow slit emplacements coming in the back of the base of Marine Lord. And now the archers manage to take down one villager. Will manage to take down another, most likely. And more units coming for Marine Lord here. Only sitting in one archery range. And I put a mercenary house now. Where is he gathering the berries from? Oh, he, those, this is his berry patch. So he's gonna get that mercenary house. And this is a lot of idle time coming from Papi Pao. And he also doesn't doesn't have wheelbarrow, so these villagers are really slow. I'm gonna go out for foot. Uh, he has no villagers on foot. Zero. Nada. Meanwhile, Marine Lord keeps pumping more and more units. I feel like this outpost delayed Papi Pao a lot. I'm gonna put a couple of towers here just to make sure he's safe with the boar. That's uh, 2,000 foot there. Well, Spearman pushing away those villagers. A couple of mana arms are already there for Papi Pao. And just more harassment here in the gold vein. No, no fortified outpost for for Papi Pao in this one. Uh, it's very interesting because you spend so much time on this to deny those berries. If you fortify it, you, you, you're gonna even delay more the time where Marine Lord goes and grabs those berries. And now the gold is denied, and the problem with the gold is that you also have a couple of gold here. So as long as Marine Lord's army is here, this is your only gold vein. Like, here, it's also in the same direction, and the Marine, Marine Lord's army is there. So you don't really want to lose this position. You really need some army to clean this up, because otherwise you will lose access to gold. Still plenty of gold left. But by the time you, you reach castle, get those upgrades and everything, uh, that gold is gonna run out really fast. So it looks like Mar Marine Lord decided to go for the Keshik contract. It's gonna, gonna go for those Keshiks, Gulams, and Elephants. If we really go there uh, in, at, in this match. Wheelbarrow going for Marine Lord yet. Looks like he focused a lot on the military at the beginning. Skipping all economic upgrades. Just completely focus on that military. Just to get map control. And th those are a lot of horsemen and are a lot of spearmen too. Uh, sorry. Uh, a lot of Keshiks. Gonna be able to take down a lot of villagers here. Marine Lord just ignoring the man at arms. He took down... At least three villagers here. 
Four villagers went down. Six villagers in total. Seven so far in this game went down. Four, five people. And it, it's not only like... If you lose seven villagers on the Imperial Age, it's not a big deal, right? Like, it's okay. But here... Like, if you lose seven... You lose, like... Uh, how much seven? Like... How, how much percentage? I, I cannot really do the math now, but it's a it's a huge percentage for you. Like losing 10 villagers in the Imperial Age, like maybe the 10%. The tank here should be like 30% of your villagers, so it's, it's it's a huge deal. It's a huge deal. Meanwhile, resources not looking really good for Papi Pao at the moment. Marinor just scouting his base just to make sure. No other resources gather. And the Age Up is completed for Papipo. He has the Erechnis Cathedral, but he doesn't have the map control. He only has a couple of Mad Arms and one Spearman. And... Like, you go for the Erechnis Cathedral. Just to get those relics out, you know, to get the extra gold. But if you don't have the the military to support like to sc to score this uh, this scholars uh, then they're just gonna die you won't be able to pick up any relic and at the same time marinor is also aging up with the golden horn tower another archery range coming for him i already secured this resource with that outpost here and it's gonna go for the deer looks like the boar spot gets detected here Managed to lose, lose one villager. Keshix just fighting with mana arms. And five people is gonna go for knights. Which is a very expensive unit on foot. And let, let's see if, if you have the food to afford this. Like remember, you always need to constantly produce villagers. So they also cost food. And that's something you don't. You don't have much food at the moment. And more villagers going down here. 33 in total. 11 villagers went down. 12 villagers so far. And I'm gonna find the Keshik here. And that's definitely a unit you don't wanna find with your archers here. One single knight can take down all those archers. No blacksmith upgrades for for Papi Pao yet. Only plus one range armor coming for Marine Lord. Already the gold, Golden Horn Tower getting those Keshiks and also getting that better mercenary contract. Having some crossbows outside gonna be able to deal with those knights very quickly especially when you don't they don't have any kind of range armor. Gonna work quite well. Market going up for Marine Lord. Looks like he's, he's gonna sell some food here. Well, what exactly is he buying with a uh, with the market? He, he, he haven't used it yet, right? Uh, he has a lot of food. That that's for sure. Okay, she's already better on. So they're gonna be a little bit tankier. Crossbow man already on the field. It feels like this is. Five people has a room to breathe. But there is no way he stayed like in Castle Age. With having so, so many few villagers. Like your opponent already have much more army than you. And it looks like he's macroing to go Palace of Swabia. Big wall coming here. Well, one relic already there coming for Marine Lord. Five people having been able to get any relic so far. Veteran C4, the archers also coming as well as survival techniques.
but Papi Pa only with a handful of knights should be able to escort this this priest. Already two relics and wonder where, where he put them. It's gonna be on those outposts here. To be able to reinforce them. And Springly placements are already here, so looks like he will be safe for the moment. And the problem is that there is no food here. This outpost is pretty much unprotected. So there, there is a risk he he, lo he lose those relics in the future. If Marinlo decides to attack there, there is not going to be any kind of reinforcement. But so far it's working for him. He's having some, some extra gold. And knights going for the offense here. Need to find some villagers, but looks like this is no man's land. And at the same time, Marine Lord with some cataphracts here. It's like he will need to back off for the moment. So these sprinkling placements are really annoying. He has the gold to Asia, but he needs more food. Looks like he, he has the market. He's gonna sell sell some gold. And now he can he can go Palace of Suabia. Now the problem is how you go Palace of Suabia without dying. And like this is like you go there as soon as you go Palace of Suabia, your opponent will just go for you, right? Like he knows there is a timer where you can recover with more villagers. And oh my god. The cataphracts here. I'm just gonna spot this this out. He cancels the Palace of Suabia. Who's it? Who's it here in the south? Close to the gold pane. Still in range of the outpost, so I think this is gonna get completed with those sprinkle emplacements here. I, I think he's he's gonna finish Suabia here. And now Marine Lord knows his plan, he knows what he's up to, and I, I think he's gonna go for a push now. Like a couple of Kedosi from already here. Uh, Marine Lord doesn't have any army here to protect those, so most likely they will go down. It's like this alt was still alive. It's like managed to take down one of them and the problem is you're defending nothing you're you this like this place is only important for you when you have a resource or something but you, you only have some relics here and looks like marino is gonna grab them now couple of knights here let's take down a couple couple of, of villagers uh, it's only a matter of time until we see a monk. There you go. One monk here. Should be another one coming soon to gather the other relic. Five people with only four military units. Now let's take a look at Alpha Swabia. Creates villagers every seven seconds. So it's going to be catching up slowly. But now Marine Lord has 53 military units. He managed to steal the relics from Papi Pao, so he lost access to important, an important gold resource. Now those knights are gonna get spotted here. It's like this one gotta go down. Let's take a look at Marine Lord's point of view. It looks like he doesn't know where Suavia is. But now he knows. And he's he, he's going for the push now. And um, Puppy Bow doesn't have any kind of unit to defend against this push. Have four four Kedosi fronts. Four rams. Rams on fire. And they're just gonna go for it. Now they, this outpost has this cannon emplacement, so it still is. I, I believe my people has the advantage here on the defender, but he doesn't have any army to defend. I mean, de definitely there's gonna be some loss for 
for Marine Lord in, ter in terms of army. But looks like like he's gonna be able to take it down because there is no military units here for Marine Lord and sorry for Papipa and now he's just taking down more and more villagers. Emergency repairs gets called here, which means this outpost cannot get emergency repairs. It's gonna potentially go down. Papifal calls all the villagers here to deal with those rams. He knows that he can always replace those villagers. But military numbers for Marine Lord is just too big. And Papifal taps out. He knows he cannot defend this. And the match. Five is complete in this best of nine.